It's one of the world's largest and smelliest flowers, and now you can get a whiff of it. NC State growing the corpse flower, and it's expected to bloom soon. Yes, CBS 17, Sheena Elzy shows what's behind all the excitement. It's expected to bloom at any time now, and when it does, this six-foot-tall, 120-pound plant is supposed to smell kind of like roadkill and hot garbage, but people really want to smell it. The giant plant is already a showstopper. In theory, it's always been sort of a thing of legend, kind of. Uh, a little bit bummed that it hasn't bloomed yet, but uh, it's just such a strange thing to happen. But you can't smell it yet. It's supposed to bloom overnight and release a scent that'll have the whole place smelling like death. The lupin flower, nicknamed the corpse flower because of its rotting flesh kind of scent, is about to bloom at NC State's science lab, and it takes years for that to happen. In fact, Brandon Huber, a PhD student here, grew it for 10 years and only seen it bloom one time back in 2016. And when it first flowered in 2016, it was a 50 pound tuber, and it's now already at 120 pounds three years later after a flower, after a previous flower. Now he says it's that time again, and it'll happen with a distinct smell and for a very specific reason. So the heat helps the smell travel and it draws in all these flies, things that will go to a trash can. And it draws these in and these are the things that pollinate this plant. And once it does bloom, the smell that everyone is waiting for will only last about 24 hours. Then ironically, the corpse flower will die. And once the plant dies off, it could be several years before you might see it bloom again, but there's still time tonight. So if you want to come and witness that smell, see the big plant that everybody's been talking about, you can still see it here at NC State's Science Lab. In Raleigh, Sheena Elsie, CBS 17 News.